been a late comeback from 2-0 down. What did you make of that game? Brilliant for morale, brilliant for character. Um, and our togetherness shone true to our supporters, drove us forward. Um, uh, it's so hard to come here. It's a really tough place to come and Dev has his team so well organised. Um, and I thought our performance for staff, I thought we should be four or five up. We missed so many brilliant chances. And uh, that's the game really, we made an error and they've put it in the net, punished us for it. That was sort of their only chance in the first half. We did a little bit of luck, I'm sure, or well, I know for a fact. The goal that was disallowed for them was onside, it wasn't offside. So we did a little bit of luck, so that's an official error, refereeing error. Um, and then obviously, there was a big moment as well in the second half where Josh had to make a save. He's one and only save of the game that he had to make, uh, or that he made. Um, that would have made it 3-0, that was a 2-0. And obviously, a character, we made subs, uh, changed system. And the boys, uh, the boys did brilliant. You mentioned luck there. You need that sometimes in the season, don't you? And a lot of the time it goes against us. But yeah, as you say, today had the had the rubber with the green. Yeah, you earn your luck. You earn your luck in life. Um, a little break for us, yeah. It's just a break, really. But if I'm being, we um, first forty seconds, we won on one the goalie. We four one on ones in the first half. Uh, we missed so many brilliant chances. We won on ones in the second half. You can't miss them opportunities when it comes to the huge games, which will be the playoffs. Um, so, look, I'm proud of our character, I'm proud of our togetherness, everybody, that's from Hutch to Kitman, all the way through to all our supporters, supporters that come and watch the train this week that were in with us, um, all the way to the boardroom, so that's a big, big point for us, um, because this is such a tough place to come. You talk about the supporters, and uh, especially when Pritchard and Carnu came on, they had a massive boost. How important and good is it to have those two players back? Strength and depth now. We've got strength and depth in our squad. Gatlin didn't get on today, who's been scoring goals for us. Um, we've got Addy now back training, hopefully he'll be back with the group soon. We've just got we, Freeman didn't get on today. He's a top player. Jordan Maguire Drew is in the stand. Um, but when you can make changes to, to, uh, to the team it, in game with the strength and depth we've got, it's key, it's massive, it's going to be massive for us in the next one. We've got three league games left, so it'll be huge for us. How important is that momentum going into the playoffs and not taking our foot off the pedal and keeping those performances up? Yeah, look, I said, I'm really happy with our performance today. Our top performance, we should have won the game. Obviously, the breaks and it, it, we could do better, we've got to do better in front of the goal. But the game's about both boxes. Um, and it's ideally we stay unbeaten until the end of the season. Um, and then going into a one-off game, which is, which is, you know, hopefully it's a, it'll go our way. But we got earned the right in everything we do, and I just didn't think we earned the right well enough. Um, first half, even though we created a lot of chances, we tried to defend better. The first goal we give away is like kamikaze, really, so frustrating. And, um, it's cost us really not challenging for the title with Chesterfield. Um, errors in that department have cost us a lot this season. After the Boreham Wood playoff last season, you mentioned about needing to bring in more of a killer mentality. Do you think we've come a long way in that in that in that part? Yeah, definitely. We've got 74 points this year. We've three games to go. We've got 79. So, and I've said this the other day uh, to our supporters when we did the awards last week at the Hive. Um, what I said to them was, a good football friend of mine said to me, "Would this t this year's team beat last year's team in a one-off game?" And I think it definitely would. Yeah. So we've got that. And with Nicky Kamamba scoring that penalty at the end, that's his 50th goal for the club. How has he adapted and changed as a player since he came in a couple of years ago in your eyes? A huge amount. He down the barrel. To be fair, he could have had a hat-trick today. He's missed some brilliant chances. But he keeps getting the chances. He keeps going. He was brave and it takes a lot of bravery to step up in the 93rd minute of a game and take a penalty like that. And he showed real courage there. He showed some minerals, to be fair to him. So, he's a good kid. Wants to learn. And that's all it is. He's receptive to coaching. And uh, he's got a great attitude. Um, so look, I'm proud of him really, 50 goals, that's an amazing achievement and what's he been here, two years? So yeah, fantastic for him and his family, uh, well played to him. And then on records, just finally, that's 100 appearances for Jerome Akimo and Harry Pritchard. How important is it just having those players you can rely on? Week in, week out. Yeah, I think when we signed Jerome, people, we signed him from Wilson, I think people probably thought, is he signing him for his age and that, but he's reliable, Skip. Listen, he wasn't at his best full staff and I come from a little bit of half time. But he's a man, he can come out second half and he showed us what he's about. He's you know, great character, great around the changing room. He's a leader. Um, and he just he just he, he does he's just so positive around the place all the time. So great achievement for him. And obviously Pritch is Mr. Reliable himself, that's what we call him. He come on, he affects the game. Fourth minute of the game when he's come on, he's winning second balls, he's running down the channels. Um, he does what it says on the tin, Pritch. So uh, congratulations to both of them. Thanks for your time.